Former Montreal Mayor Denis Coderre is slowly making his way back into the public eye. He continues to recover from a stroke he suffered three months ago. Today, Coderre did his first English language interview with CJD. Stéphane Giroux reports. Welcome back. David Hertel in for Elias. Well, it's been a difficult past few months, to say the least, for former Montreal Mayor Denis Coderre. Denis Coderre needs a cane to walk and his speech remains slurred. I'm afraid that there's three letters from the alphabet that I don't want to pronounce, which is AVC, mm -hmm. which is a stroke. He briefly talked about a suicide attempt following his electoral defeat in 2017. Because yeah. I lost, I felt that I lost everything. And, uh, but I decided to change my mind because I take care of my parents, as I said, and I have two wonderful children. But he hasn't lost his ability to fight and denounce the administration that defeated him twice. I'm so disappointed because Montreal used to be a big city and is not a metropolis anymore. Kada set all the few old scores for good measure. I'm against Bill 96. Mm -hmm. I have no pity for the Gazette because uh, when the time was due, mm. they were the first one who uh, gave me shit. <laughs> He's out of politics for good, he says, as his life now focuses on recovery from his stroke. He adds his recovery taught him something. I learned humility because uh, I was not even able to sign my name. You I couldn't say your name. I couldn't sign my name. Sign. Or, sign. Okay, I, sign I couldn't talk. Name, I couldn't walk. You couldn't talk. Couldn't I couldn't walk. shave. I couldn't take a shower alone. Wow. When pressed by the host on his sense of humility, though. I didn't say I was humble. I said I learned humility, <laughs> which is a big difference. What you're seeing here is a man that is in the midst of growing as a human being, but also uh, I think there's also something freeing about hap what's happening to Denis Coderre. It's a closing chapter on a 30-year political career, even if Coderre won't go quietly. Stéphane Giroux, CTV News.